What's up everyone? I am getting over this sinus issue. I woke up this morning, my throat felt like it was closed and like on fire at the same time. I usually don't have issues with allergies, but the pollen has been uh, pretty bad here in North Carolina the last few weeks. And then I just been traveling a bunch, just go back from Sydney, 14 hour time difference. And I know my body's stressed and um, just been trying to take it easy. But I, I wanted to talk about something today that I, I experienced quite a bit um, being a coach and, and guiding people through making changes with their health and just in business and sport like in general like this is a, this concept of uh, looking for hacks or shortcuts and there's biohacks there's hacks on computers there's you know life hacks there's all these things but at the end of the day if you want to make a significant change with your life in any aspect your health your business your relationship your creativity spirituality education sport anything you want to make a significant change and you want that change to be sustainable and create longevity with that that change there is no hacks there's no shortcuts it just doesn't make sense and i find that it's this you know social media is amazing it's an amazing tool it's allowed me to connect with all of you watching this um, share my story and my message and my purpose around the world and connect with so many great people and and brands and organizations and collaborate to help people but at the same time it it it's all about perspective and understanding because the fact of the matter is myself, you, and anyone you follow, you only see who you're following. You only see what they allow you to see. And for a lot of people, it's a highlight reel. It's their, you know, their gallery of their work or, you know, it's their um, resume. You know, it's like they don't, they're not going to show you the bad. They're not going to show you the times they messed up or the times they failed. You know, they're going to show you what they want to show you ultimately at the end of the day. It doesn't matter what it is. Maybe they just show you just the bad and not the positive. But we have to remember that because there's this there's this concept or this um, this consciousness that needs to be taken in consideration and practiced more. Of the fact that what you see is just what that person's allowing you or that person is allowing you to see, and that's not the work that went into it. That's just the end result or the end result into that time, that moment in time that you're seeing. It's not the hard work. So when I post a video um, of me on stage giving a presentation or a cut from that or me traveling or me riding or doing a trick or a client success story that didn't happen overnight that didn't happen over a week or a month that happened over years um, a lot of things being built up and a lot of people say oh you're so lucky yada 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 and it's like am I am I lucky you know and personally when people tell me that I'm like I live with four brain tumors like is that lucky like I don't think so um, it's my perspective and my choices moving forward that have allowed me to move forward but you know, I don't believe in luck. I believe in preparation, hard work, and opportunity, and those things coming together. And as long as you act and you take that opportunity, you know, you'll be considered lucky. But really, it's not an overnight success. It's not luck. It's you put the work in, and you put yourself in situations to manifest an opportunity to take action to manifest the result you're looking for. And so that's just what's been on my mind today. I just seen um, a little bit of that going around and I've heard a little bit about that um, in re regards to being told you're lucky or, you know, do you have any hacks or shortcuts? And, you know, I, I just, I don't believe in it, you know, and I, um, I'd love to get, you know, your feedback on, you know, hacks and shortcuts and your perspective on it. But at the end of the day, I just believe in doing the work, being patient, being focused and clear on the purpose and the vision and, you know, either way, if you don't take action or you take action, the universe is going to provide. And it's not always easy, but it's worth it to stay consistent for your dreams, your aspirations, your desires, um, whatever you, you know, ultimately desire for your life. Like, take action and you're going to get it. It just it doesn't happen overnight. There's no such thing as overnight success. Any backstory to someone that you see successful is going to tell you there's a lot of hardship, a lot of hard work, a lot of patience, a lot of sacrifice and a lot of mistakes and a lot of learning opportunities. And it just comes down to you continuing to take action with clarity and purpose and an opportunity presents itself. And then, you know, fear may show up, but you gotta push through it. And that's, that's what I've been doing. I've been speaking on stage for about a year now and it's amazing, you know, um, where I am today and where I <laughs> never thought I'd be and then where I've come from. So, um, yeah, at the end of the day, I don't believe in hacks or shortcuts or overnight success. I believe in doing the work, putting the work in, being patient, clear in your purpose and your vision and then waiting for opportunity or creating opportunity by taking action and then, you know, pushing forward. So love to hear what you guys think. Love you guys. Appreciate the support. Peace.